was a member of this house for three terms, from April 1990 to April 1996, from April 2000 to April 2006, and again from April 2006 to May 2009. She was also elected four times to the Lok Sabha in 1996, 1998, 2009, and 2014. She was first elected to the Haryana Legislative Assembly in 1977. As Union Minister, she held important portfolios of external affairs, health and family welfare, parliamentary affairs, and information broadcasting, and acquitted herself admirably, winning acclaim across political spectrum. As a legislator and a minister in the Union and the Haryana governments, and with her commitment and devotion to the cause of the people and the country in her four decade-long stint in public life, she must be surpassed for us. She has made a role model. As a Minister of External Affairs, she imparted a human touch to the Ministry by being in the forefront of rescuing Indians in distress in several parts of the world. She had to be, she had come to be known as the most accessible minister, which speaks of her concern for and commitment to the people. Sri Mr. Swaraj ha- had several firsts to her credit. She was the youngest minister at the age of 25 years. in the haryana government in 1977 she was the first woman to be the leader of the opposition in lok sabha she was also first woman outstanding parliamentarian shrima swaraj was the first woman chief minister of delhi in 98 from the youngest minister she rose to become the first full time external affairs minister under the present prime minister narendra bhai modi born on february 14th 1952 in ambala cantonment in haryana the 67 year old shrima sushma swaraj studied law in punjab university the call of direct service to the people drew her into public life she participated in the movement led by late jay prakash narayan and was elected to haryana assembly after the emergency in 1977 since then she took up several electoral challenges with a smile demonstrating grit grace both in victory and in defeat Shrimad Sushma Swaraj was an effective orator with equal felicity in both Hindi and English languages, and left an ineradicable imprint of her both within and outside the Parliament. A couple of hours before she breathed her last, her public message after Lok Sabha passed the bill related to Jammu Kashmir yesterday was, and I quote, "I was waiting to see this day in my lifetime." Unquote. This clearly demonstrated her commitment for one India and one Constitution. The untimely demise of Sri Mata Swaraj was a personal loss to me also. She was like my sister, who always addressed me as Anna, elder brother. She was a regular at family and cultural events at my residence for a long time. Every year on the occasion of Raksha Bandhan, she used to tie Rakhi on my hand, and I would be missing this honor this year. This year. As usual, I wanted to go to her house and tie Rakhi. She telephoned to me saying, "Please don't come." I said, "Why?" She said, "Now you are vice president of the country. You are not supposed to come to my house. I will come to your house and get the Rakhi tied." So she came and then tied Rakhi. I have lost a valuable sister in her demise, which is irreparable loss to me. Sri Madhu Shushma Swaraj was grace, grit, affection, amiability, and ability personified in her. untimely demise the nation has lost an able administrator an effective parliamentarian and a true voice of the people she always dreamt of an india at its highest glory i hope the words and deeds of the exemplary leader will continue to inspire all those in public life we deeply mourn the passing away of shrimati sushma swaraj i request the members to raise in their places and observe a silence as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed Santi, Santi, Santi. For more updates, please subscribe 99 TV Telugu.